So kids say the darnest things. Their questions are usually hilarious the way that they ask them, but sometimes they really make me think. So today we're gonna be addressing and answering uh, some questions from kids that reached out to me. Let's jump into it. So the spine surgery hurt and how do we help patients who undergo spine surgery from not having too much pain? That's a great question. Spine surgery, not gonna lie, it hurts. Any surgery hurts because we're making incisions, which means we cut the skin, we cut certain parts of the ligament, the tendons uh, during certain procedures, and this really hurts. We do a lot of things to help with that. There are certain medications that we give before surgery to reduce that, those signals that are sent to the brain, telling the brain like, hey, someone's cutting me, uh, you should have a lot of pain. So we try to reduce those pain signals, those fibers, so patients, it minimizes how much pain that they're having. The second thing that we do is, we try to do minimally invasive surgeries. So instead of cutting all of the muscles, we try to do certain techniques and technology to minimize how much damage is occurring to the muscles through really small incisions. And that really helps a lot as well. The third thing that we do, during surgery, the patient's nice and comfortable. They're usually paralyzed with certain medications. So they don't feel or remember anything. And then after surgery, we're able to give them certain medications to help with their pain. So that was a great question. And uh, that's kind of what my thoughts are. So will you be able to go back to school after surgery or will you be home a long time? Well, it really depends on what type of surgery that you're having. A lot of kids, as a spine surgeon, they'll be seen for what's called scoliosis, which is a curvature of your spine when your spine is crooked. Everyone is born usually with some form of tiny curve in their spine. There's no, no one born with a completely straight spine. Well, scoliosis is a curvature that's more than 10 degrees. Once that scoliosis gets above 40, 45 degrees and a patient is still growing, then that's usually when we start talking about some type of surgical intervention. A lot of these scoliosis surgeries can take anywhere between three to five hours in surgery. You're usually in the hospital for one to three days after that surgery. And then you're back to school probably in most patients in two to three weeks. For most patients, even after a surgery, you can't do any what's called BLT, bending, lifting, or twisting for about six weeks after surgery. So even though you can go back to school, you just can't do any lifting, bending, twisting for that first few weeks while your body recovers. So can you play video games or TV during your recovery? It's actually a great question and I think you should, especially any of the Games that I like to play, NBA, Madden, a lot of the sports games, Call of Duty. These are all games that I think are good. I think during your recovery process, you're up walking, you're up moving around, but there's also a time of rest. So you should definitely use this to your advantage. This is probably one of the few times where your parents will say it's okay for you to be on your Xbox or your PlayStation all day. Maybe that's up to your parents, but uh, it's definitely a time where you're recovering. I think it's okay in moderation to play an Xbox or PlayStation, Nintendo or Wii. Um, yeah, I think those things are good to do and it also uh, may help you get through your recovery process. So how many spine surgeries have I done? Well, that's a great question and I actually lost count. I think as a resident, I did anywhere between 3,000 to 4,000 surgeries. A resident is a person who has completed medical school and then you're training to do whatever specialty that you're in. So if you wanna be a skin doctor, dermatologist, you have to go through four years of training as a dermatologist and that's called a residency. Well, during this process, we do a lot of surgeries. We work a lot of hours, we're up late at night, doing trauma call, seeing patients, and sometimes we're doing surgeries at three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, we have surgery scheduled for six o'clock in the morning during our trauma rotation. Well, in practice, I do anywhere between three to 10 plus surgeries a week. Uh, so I would say total in my career, I've probably done anywhere between 5,000 to 6,000 surgeries. 
And in terms of operating on any one of your size, certainly. Part of our training as residents, we spend time with pediatric orthopedic surgeons. And these are our young kids who need surgery, such as a kid who has what's called club feet. When your feet are turned inward, uh, these patients are six weeks old. They're nine weeks old or 12 weeks. We're able to do certain procedures and casting techniques to help correct their foot alignment. But also there's other patients that are three years old, six years old, 12 years old, that we're able to do uh, really meticulous and very precise spine surgery. So yes, um, very young patients. So what's the most exciting thing about being a spine surgeon? It's really the best job in the world. It's the ability to take someone who comes into my office with severe pain, if you think about the most amount of pain that you've, you've ever had, like if your parents spanked you, or if you fell and broke your arm, there's a lot of pain, right? So these patients are coming to my office and they are in debilitating pain. They're in severe pain. They're almost to a point where they're crying. If you imagine the worst pain you can ever have in your life, that's usually what comes into my office. My job as a surgeon is to help alleviate that pain, figure out why they're having that pain and also be able to do something from a non-surgical route, which means we don't use surgery, to a surgical route where we're using surgery to improve lives. It's the best job in the world. The greatest feeling that I get is when patients come back to my office as a surgeon after surgery or even after some non-surgical routes that have alleviated their pain and say, Doc, you've changed my life. I can't believe that I'm living, I'm able to get back to life and you gave me my life back. That's the best feeling in the world. That's what keeps me going and um, that's what I enjoy most about being a spine surgeon. Yeah, that's a great question. I've heard this before. If you, if you step on a crack that you may make, you break your mom's back. Well, that's not necessarily true. If you step on a crack, it's certainly not going to break anything unless you step on a crack that has, you know, you trip and break your ankle and injure your back. But that's a big myth. Uh, it's it's a, actually a funny one. And uh, that's actually a great question. But this is Dr. Webb. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you guys understand about a little bit about what I do. And you guys had some uh, great questions. If you guys want to see another format of this video, or should I do this again? Should I repeat it? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.